All right, good afternoon everyone. This is Julian with Bootstrap Farmer. Today we're gonna to talk about our new overhead drip system that we have. The nice thing about these emitters is we've got two different sizes. We've got one that's a smaller size for the 30 foot tunnels and then everything 20 foot and below, this one right here will do for you. So it's gonna be able to spread and sprinkle everything to both sides of the greenhouse and, and wet it evenly. So the nice thing about these is that they've got a pressure compensator in them and when you shut them off, all the water that's above it and the water pressure overhead does not continue to flow. On the 30 footer, what we do is instead of having one of these in the center, on the 30 footer, we've got two rows that go in a 30 footer and they're smaller, so they'll do 15 foot a piece. And that way you're able to get the full part of the hoop house. Also, these have to be put close enough that they will actually overlap so you get even watering in your hoop house. We've got a diagram in the manual on these and it shows the number of sprinkler heads that you would need for different size tunnels so you can get these systems for uh, any greenhouse or growing application that you have. Very basic system how this works. We've got a garden hose Y right here. Goes into a filter. The filter is going to filter any debris out so it doesn't clog any of the emitters that are built into the actual line itself here. We've got some shutoff valves so you can shut off the whole system in the greenhouse. Then we've got a shutoff valve just for this row right here. We've got three emitter lines that go down here. The emitters are spaced a foot apart and they're right at a gallon per hour. So this is not drip tape. These are pressure compensated drip emitters. And the difference is, is that they're not just perforated holes in a line. Each one of these emitters has a check valve in it so that when you turn the water off and it drops down below two PSI, it shuts the valve so no more water comes out. It also doesn't let debris and other things get inside the line and it shuts the line off and the line's full of water. There's no air in the line. So there's a lot less chance for bacteria and other things to grow when it's nothing but water in the line and there's not any air in the line. The other nice thing about the pressure compensator is that when it closes, if it's not completely level all the way across on a lot of other type of soaker lines or drip tapes the water because of gravity is going to naturally run to the lowest spot and when it does you're going to end up with areas that are wetter with this when it shuts off no more water comes out no more water drains down to the low spots as well as in other types of drip irrigation when that water drains to a low spot in the center any spot that's higher it's going to draw air and, and it's going to draw debris in through the emitters if there's anything touching it so the nice thing about them closing, again, it prevents debris from getting in there. If you don't get debris and you don't get any type of algae growth or anything it, muck inside the lines, then you don't have to drain them as much. So these, just like any other line, we've got uh, an open to end on the other side that's been closed with, with a figure eight and they don't have to be drained as much. Now, you're still gonna have to drain them and rinse the lines out, but it's, not, it's gonna be less often and less maintenance than if you're using other types of drip. At max pressure, you'll get one gallon per hour in, in each emitter that's on here every 12 inches. These things will work anywhere from 10 PSI up to 50 PSI. Now you'll get a little bit less watering with lower PSI, but the great thing is, is you'll still get even watering throughout from one end to the other, even under variable pressure or lower pressures, the way these emitters is designed in the drip irrigation. This right here is the drip line itself. You can see the emitters, they're a little bit larger in diameter here. They've got a hole for where the water comes out and they're spaced every 12 inches. The diameter of the drip line as well as the diameter of the supply lines are the same. The fittings are all the same. So universally you could put things together. Um, this is a straight connector. You can connect two pieces together. Maybe you run out here and you need to extend it, just use a, a straight connector. The nice thing is, that all of these are push connect fittings. You can also pull them apart and reuse them. So you can reuse them season after season. 